Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson, Director of the Meteorological Service of Jamaica. Evan Thompson is encouraging Jamaicans to prepare for the possibility of more rainfall on the weekend. Rains associated with two tropical storms over the past three weeks have caused flooding and dislocation, resulting in at least $3 billion in damage so far. In the weather forecast for Thursday, expect morning showers across eastern parishes and partly cloudy conditions in the afternoon. New opposition leader Mark Golding has chided the government for failing to reconstitute the COVID-19 Select Committee, which he said denied members of the opposition the opportunity to discuss developments on COVID-19. Mr. Golding has urged the government to re-establish the committee swiftly, noting that sittings had stopped since the September 3 general election. Meanwhile, the Pan-American Health Organization on Wednesday recognized Jamaica, Argentina and Costa Rica for their respective efforts to reduce the spread of COVID-19 through contact tracing mechanisms. PAHO says that the three countries are examples for others to follow as the Americas witnessed an average of 150,000 daily cases of COVID-19 over the last week. 32-year-old Andrew Simpson, a guest house manager of Bogue Dress in St. James, has been charged for allegedly attacking a woman who refused his advances. The police say Mr. Simpson allegedly offered the woman a drink while at a bar in October and became angry after she refused. He pulled another patron's firearm and reportedly claimed that the woman was being disrespectful. In sports, the West Indies cricket squad in New Zealand has been stripped of the right to train while in managed isolation after players were found to have breached COVID-19 rules regarding their 14-day quarantine. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.